Hello everybody, AVT here, and I'm back with another video for Star Wars Galaxies Legends. And today I wanted to go over the use of macros. Um, I'm looking to make, you know, more, some more farm-centric videos here in the next few days. And I felt like we need to go over macros so that you know how to set these up yourself. So to make a long story short, what, what is a macro in general? A macro is typically like a pre-programmed automatic set of commands that the game is going to be executing for you. People in Galaxies use these for a number of reasons. Um, to stay AFK and not get auto-logged out, to automatically loot objects, to farm areas, to use a series of buffs with the push of one button. There's a lot of uses for various macros. And what I want to be showing you today is how to create these macros and some of the basics therein. So we're just going to kind of go down the list. I'll explain why I've set the macros up the way that I have and what each command is doing as we go through. There's also some great guides online that are going to tell you the individual commands that you can even execute within this game, because obviously I'm not going to cover all of them here as there's just so many. But let's start at the top. We're going to look at a very simple macro. It's called AFK. And by the way, to get here, if you guys don't know your command browser, you hit your semicolon or colon key and it'll bring this up. It's where all your abilities are stored. And then you've got this tab called macro. And I already have an AFK macro here, but typically you would say new macro. But for the sake of time, let's just edit macro. Here you go. So this is your line where you can name your macro. And it's also very important to know that what you've named it, because if you don't, it's going to be difficult to loop the command. So I've named it AFK and it is case sensitive. And you've got all of your icons here. These are just the icons you can pick. That's going to be what's on your toolbar for the macro. It doesn't really matter what you pick. The only thing I recommend is that you don't overlap it with any of your abilities. That way, for whatever reason, you won't get confused when you're trying to execute the different uh, commands. So a macro AFK is very, very simple. I use this macro to keep me from getting auto kicked from the game when I'm AFK farming or something like that. And it's super simple. You just type slash AFK and you don't have to add the semicolons. The game will automatically input those. Then you're going to hit enter, go down to your next line, pause 180. And this time, that's actually in seconds. So all times are done in seconds. So you want it to pause for 180, which means it's going to execute the slash AFK command, wait 180 seconds, and then slash macro, the space here must be, and every time you see a space, it has to be there, and the letters are case sensitive. So anytime you see a lowercase or uppercase letter, that also needs to be that way. But then you've got slash macro and then AFK, which is the name of the macro. And that's how you're going to loop these commands. So anytime you see these macros at the end, I'm going to have slash macro and then whatever the macro name is. And then that's all you need to do. And you can kind of hear it in the background, but I'm running my AFK farm macro, just an example of what's going on. So I've got my various macros here. This one's for my position secured, my loop macro, AFK, my abilities macro, my targeting, and then my two send invites that are required by the legend server. So we'll go into, we'll skip the invite one for now as it's a little complex, we'll come back to it. We've got macro loot, and some people are going to hate on me for the way I've done this macro, but it's always worked for me, so it is what it is. But anyways, it's pretty simple. I called it loot, I gave it an icon, and then slash loot, and then slash macro loot. So I put it in that way because for me it doesn't really matter if this thing spam loots while I'm AFK, I don't really care. And then the game also has a built-in auto loop function in your options menu. So typically I use the one in the options menu when I'm playing the game actively and I only use the macro to ensure that I get the loot when I am AFK farming. So that's the entire macro there. That's what I'm going to utilize as well. You've also right here, I have it called farm. This macro, this command right here, the slash UI action toolbar slot, that's going to be the base of most of your macros. That's what's actually firing the abilities that you can see going off down here on my toolbar right now. So the way the toolbar works is down here, you have slots 0, 0, all the way through. What is this going to be? Because this is 9, 10, 11, 12. So this will be 11 because it starts at 0, 0. So keep that in mind when creating these. But this is what I've got here. And this command is very important. And if you guys are having trouble seeing this, um, you can always look online, you'll see these as well. But the command is slash UI space action space toolbar slot, all crammed into one word, and then the numerical designation. So for this, it's going to be zero, zero for your first ability slot. And the S in slot is capital, and it needs to be that way. And then below that line, I have a pause of two seconds. So slash pause space two, and then it repeats going all the way up to this ability here, which is my mine. 
And that's really all I find that I need to farm with my commando. Um, I don't really need more. And the reason I have a two second pause, a lot of people recommend a smaller pause, but I actually have a pretty high latency with the Legends server. So if I don't have that pause in there, I experience ability misfires and abilities that just don't go off at all because of my latency issues. So that's why I have a longer pause than you'll see. But you can even do a half second pause if your latency is really, really good. You won't see any problems doing that. And at the end, I just have a four second pause before the macro starts over again. Now, if you want, depending on your class as well, you can really dial these macros down to where you have a toolbar set up specifically to do this. And you can have these pauses and your abilities in an optimal way to where they're firing pretty much precisely on cooldown. You, you can really get very in depth with these macros and tailoring them to your class and exactly what you're looking to do. I don't feel the need to do that when I'm farming, especially the Feral Wookiees that I'm farming on the Riot Trail right now with my Commando. Uh, they're just not that much of a threat, so it doesn't matter. So this is a really simple, really generic macro that basically anybody can use and you can expand it out to as many abilities as you need. But that's going to be the ability macro in itself. Then we can go down to... This is my position secured macro. I have it on the ability timer, so it'll time out after 180 seconds, which is why you can see here, it's just firing the slot that the ability's in, waiting 180 seconds, and then firing it again. Very, very simple. Here, this macro is a little more complex. This is how you're going to target things when you're AFK. So it starts off with slash target space self. That's very important because if you don't reset that target, you can target things that are out of your range. If you target yourself first, it's always going to target the closest target next with the macro. So that's pretty important. I have a pause of two between targeting myself, like I said, due to my latency. And then here is the cycling target command. This one's going to be very important. This is what's going to allow you to target enemies. It is slash UI space action space cycle target outward. And that's all one word. The T is capital in target and the O is capital and outward. That's what's going to allow you to tag, or excuse me, target other enemies. And I have a pause of 15 seconds between this macro firing, because that just seems like the right amount of time on average to kill a mob of feral Wookiees that you will aggro without going out and accidentally, accidentally aggroing more. I'm sure you could speed this up if you needed to, especially depending on the class that you're running. This is just my preferred time. So feel free to use it. And then my last couple of macros that you're going to see here I am using invite. I have called it invite two because my original invite broke and I renamed it. And I have send tell. So these are required by the legend server whenever you're AFK farming an area. That way, if these units are used for a quest, like the feral Wookiees, somebody can come in, they can get an invite to your group and they can farm the feral Wookiees themselves. Either that, or if they would like to just come farm the area with you and you've already set up there, you haven't locked down the entire area. So you're not locking players out of the ability to do certain things. So the send tell, this one's really, really basic. Basically, slash say, that's just going to type in chat. And I have a message that just says, please send, please just slash tell for an invite to group if you need these NPCs to complete your quest or want to farm. Thanks. It's really that simple. It pauses for 80 seconds, just over a minute. You could increase this interval if you want. I wouldn't go past about a minute and a half. That way, you know, somebody walks into the area, they know that you have the macro running. And then just macro, and I called it send tell. So obviously there's the name again. Really that straightforward. This is probably, this next one is going to be the most complex macro out of all the ones that I'm running. And it is the one that's actually going to be doing the group invite. I have it called invite two. And here are the commands down below. There's also a guide to this macro on the legends forums so that if you can't see this very well or you just want an easier way to see it, it's all right there. But the commands for this, you're gonna start with slash UI space action, space start chat reply. And the C is capital in chat and the R is capital in reply. Onto the very next line, you're going to have slash UI space action space chat cursor home. And the cursor, the C in cursor is capital and the H in home is capital. Onto the next line, it's slash UI space action space chat cursor right. And the C in cursor capital, the R in right capital. Onto the next line, it is slash UI space action space chat delete, all one word again, and the D in delete is capital. On to the next line, it's going to be the exact same command again, slash UI, space action, space chat, delete with a capital D. On to the next line, you're going to have slash UI, space action, space chat, enter with a capital E. Next line is slash tell. This is where your character name is going to need to go. So my character name this is actually the wrong character. I need to adjust that for this character. It needs to be a boa, but that's okay. 
auto invite is running. And then slash pause. I use an eight second pause. It seems to be appropriate. Anything less than that, you might have problems. And then slash macro the invite name. And that's how you're going to auto invite people to your group. If you don't have that going, it's going to be a problem. I'm actually going to fix that right now before I run into any issues in the world. There we go. So, on to this really, really quickly. The command I just used, slash dump, is going to pause all active macros. I wanted to pause them because I need to reset them since I adjusted the auto invite one. Once they're on your toolbar, which is as simple as taking the icon after you're done creating it and dragging it down to your toolbar, it's as simple as clicking them like a standard ability or if you have it bound to a hotkey to activate them. So I'm going to start with my position secured. There's my loop macro. Here's my AFK macro, which I was already listed as AFK, so now I am no longer AFK. You can see it working there. This is the one that's going to far fire my abilities, my farm macro. This is my target macro, and as you watch, it'll target myself, cycles outward to the Wookiee, fires at the Wookiee with the active ability. This is going to be the invite macro, and this is going to be the one that's telling people in chat that I'm running the invite macro, and there you go. Now you're auto farming. Doesn't matter where you are. These macros are going to work, whether you're farming here with the Wookiees, the Godel Trappers down below, your pet farming, it's all going to work. There are separate macros to run for pets, and I'd like to cover those in a separate video because I actually have a character that I'm building as a Beastmaster right now, so I can go through some Beastmastery guides. But that's going to do it for today. I know this was a lot of information, so please, if you have any questions, just reach out. I would love to explain some more of this. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.